I am just finishing up my hair so I thought I would come on and show you. I know I did a video yesterday and my hair was in bigger twists. This is the size twist that I had in my hair and this is the size that I am ending up with. So I started last night while I was watching television and all I did was take each twist apart and just lightly finger detangle or remove any shed hair but I really didn't have much shed hair um, and most of my twists were evenly separated to begin with so all I'm doing is taking each piece and I'm turning that into a twist so I'm um, lightly detangling I'm just pulling at the ends to make sure that I'm releasing the shed hair I am finger detangling and I'm going to twist it. And that's what I did for my entire head. Um, I haven't done many twists in a long time and it's basically because when I start doing many twists and I'm doing them this small it can be a daunting task and it takes phew, all day pretty much to um, get my hair twisted. But doing it with this method this is actually the third time I'm retwisting my hair but I've done it I think over the space of a week and a half so the first time I divide my hair into wearable sections um, and I can wear that around for a while and then the next time which what I did was after a wash I separated it into smaller twists which is what I'm just separating now and then this next set will be the last set I won't make them I mean I could make them smaller but that would just be suicide so um this is as small as I am going to go and again I'm just separating I'm pulling to make sure that um not pulling hard but you know, I'm just pulling the ends to make sure that um, there are no shed hairs and actually I don't have any in this section. And I am separating it into as even um, spacing as it can. And then I'm twisting. I'm twisting... I'm twisting as tightly at the root as I can. It will release once I release the twist. and. I'm twisting the hair itself pretty tight but not too tight because I don't want my twist to be too skinny and I only plan on keeping them in maybe for two weeks probably until the end of the month depending on how they hold up with washing etc. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm just twisting down to the end. I try not to borrow hair but I do if I need to. Sometimes um, the sections aren't that even for whatever reason. It doesn't bother me. I might wear a twist out when I'm done. Sometimes I do that. I'll wear a twist out for like a few days just before I wash. But that all depends. I have no definite plans. So this is where my twists are. They are, I don't usually wear my hair like this because I find it to be a little um, flat. I like my hair big. So what I may do is sometimes I will bantu knot my twists. I do have a teensy bit more length than I did the last time. This is basically how long my hair is right now. And in the front, yeah, I do have some more length. I do want to grow my hair out, um, maybe another three inches or so. Not, um, I don't want super long, like waist length hair or anything like that. I don't think I could, um, I could deal with that. So these are my twists. I like how they turned out. I didn't part, um, I didn't use a comb to part, I didn't use a comb to part my hair initially anyway, I used this, 
and I just parted and you know I just separated the hair as I went along so the sections aren't they aren't some are square some are triangle some are slightly circular but that's fine it doesn't bother me um, so most likely what I will do is I can wear it in a ponytail, I can wear it in a bun, I can do bantu knots, I can do all kinds of different styles. So as I style it, if I do style it, because I may just be really lazy with this, but as I style it, I will just come in and show you guys what I do. But for now, I'm just going to put my hair up in a really simple bun. I am not going to use this hair tie because it has a metal piece on it. I was just using it temporarily to um, hold my hair in place. Oh, and another tip. Um, what I did last night was instead of doing just one section of my hair, I did the perimeter of my hair. So when I woke up this morning, this entire section here was still in the larger twists. So what I did was I took one ponytail holder and I put the larger twists in this section, right, like that. And then I took the smaller twists and just hit it, like so. I mean, you can imagine. And I made a bun, and I just pinned these tiny twists around the bun. So I just had a nice, neat bun, and nobody had to know that inside here was a bunch of big twists. So that's just a tip if you are thinking of doing mini twists and you know it's going to take a really long time instead of getting frustrated and pulling your hair out you can just do it in sections and work instead of working from the back to the front or from the front to the back or from side to side or whatever um, work around the perimeter of your hair that way even if your hair is loose in the middle you can still you know pin it up and make it cute and wearable um, I'm home, so it's easy for me to just throw a turban on my hair or a head wrap or something like that. But say, you know, you work in a corporate environment and you need your hair to look a certain way, or you're going to school and you don't want to wrap your hair, etc., you can just try that method and see how that works. So my scalp feels a little dry, and that usually happens to me whenever I twist my hair because my scalp is more exposed. So I am going to just take my oil mix and just um, oil my scalp. I'm going to spray my scalp with water and I'm going to oil my scalp. My hair, um, you can see my hands, I don't know if you could see it, it has like a slight sheen to it. My hair isn't really oily. Um, my cuticles look really good though, right? Um, my hair isn't really oily, so I don't want to add too much oil to my hair, and um, I'm not going to keep it down because at the length my hair is now, it is actually rubbing against my clothes, and I know that's going to dry my ends out, so I am not going to keep my hair down. I am actually going to pin it up. So you know what? Let's just do a style. So, I tend to like this style a lot. So basically what I do is I take two sections of hair and I twist them over the other and then I grab two more and I twist them over the other and I grab two more and twist them over the other and I keep going back that way until I get around to the other side of my head. So I'm working my way around, almost there, trying to make sure that I grab all of the hair so you can see what I'm doing there. One more. It's 
So I'm just going to use this because this is what's here. Um, just to hold it in place really quickly. So that section is being held in place right there. And then on this side, I'm just going to do the same thing. So I'm grabbing two sections, twisting them over each other. Grabbing two sections, twisting them over each other. And I'm just going to keep going, I think. Yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to join these two together. I'm taking this out carefully because it has that metal piece in it. And I'm taking the top section and a little bit out of the middle because I'm going to make a braid. And I'm just going to braid this all together. The point to me of twist, mini twists, you know, or braids or whatever, is for it to be a protective style. And if I leave my ends exposed, my hair isn't protected, is it? So, I'm braiding this pretty tight because I'm trying to stretch my hair as well. I want to keep it as stretched as possible. And I'm also trying to tuck in as many of the ends as possible. A few of them will poke out, but for the most part, I need this to be pretty smooth. Okay, so we don't need to braid all the way to the end, I'm just going to twist this section. Um, if I pull it this way, I can feel tension right here, so I'm actually going to bring it around and pin it this way. And I'm using the open hairpins because I find they don't pull my hair as much as bobby pins do and I'm pinning in a few different places so that way one spot on my head isn't going to carry all the tension so I pinned it right here and I pinned it right here and I'm going to pin it also in the middle just to pull these two pieces together Right. Okay, so that's that. Um, this is the top. I'm gonna just take this up. I hope you can see. You can see that a little better. Right. And I'll just turn around so you can see the back. Right, so it's all up, it's all protected, and um, if these pins don't bother me, because my, my hair tends to just not like being in a restricted style, like my scalp starts to rebel and my, and my head starts to hurt. Um, this is pretty secure, it's not tight, but um, if it bothers me, I'll take it down at night and do some either some bantu knots or I will just twist it or braid it to keep my twist stretched and that also keeps my end stretched because I find what happens when I do mini twists is that the ends of my hair end up getting um, single strand knots because they're not stretched out so bantu knots is um, 
one technique that I find really helps that. So I'll try to do that as much as possible. Loose bantu knots though, um, nothing crazy. So I'll just do that at night, maybe like four or five of them just to keep my hair um, stretched. So yeah, that's it. This video is a little dark. It's a darkish day today. So I'm going to go. <laughs> and um, I hope you guys found this helpful. And as I do other styles, I will share them with you. Alright? Bye-bye.